Good morning, everybody. Thanks for that introduction. Um, so as Jim just stated, I was asked to come speak about the recent filling of reservoirs and what that means for water security in our county. So lately, a common question water managers are asked is, so we out of the drought? It rained, are we out of the drought? This is, this is tough to answer. Uh, in Slow County, right now, we are simultaneously operating under two proclamations of local emergency, drought and flood. No wonder people aren't sure what's going on. Did this flood emergency mitigate the drought emergency? Well, to some extent, yes. We have seen a large volume increase in most of our local reservoirs. But to talk about drought and floods impact on drought, you have to understand our county's overall water portfolio. So while we've seen recent improvements in local surface water reservoirs, surface water storage represents a fraction of the water used in this county. Besides our reservoirs, we use imported water via the state water project, which is surface water that comes from Northern California. We have recycled water and we have groundwater. Generally speaking, 80 to 90% of our countywide water consumption is groundwater. That's water pumped from local underground aquifers. The vast majority of that groundwater is consumed by agriculture, but it's also an important domestic supply for rural residents and municipalities. In fact, some communities are entirely groundwater dependent. For example, Los Sosos, Santa Margarita, um, and Cambria. And many cities who utilize surface water have also groundwater as a, as a significant component of their overall portfolio. So we've established that countywide groundwater is the most significant water resource, but many mun municipalities rely heavily on our local reservoirs. So I'd like to take a couple of minutes to walk you through our four surface water reservoirs located in the county. From smallest to largest, volumetrically, they are Salinas, also known as Santa Margarita Lake, which serves just the city of San Luis Obispo. Whale Rock in Cayucas serves the Whale Rock Commission made up of the city of San Luis Obispo, CMC, and Cal Poly. Lopez Reservoir in Sal County serves Arroyo Grande, Grover Beach, Pismo, Oceano, and parts of Avila. And finally, the Nacimiento Reservoir, which is primarily for the benefit of Monterey County, but of which 4.6% is dedicated to San Luis Obispo County and serves Paso, Templeton, Atascadero, Santa Margarita Ranch, San Luis Obispo, and a part of Cayucas, as well as the Nacimiento Lakeside users. So each reservoir is capable of storing different volumes of water. So while one reservoir can be at 100% capacity, that can still be less water than another reservoir that's at 25% capacity. So we don't just look at capacity. So forgive me, but I've come up with a bartending reference to help you understand those different volumes of water. I tried really hard to come up with a coffee analogy this morning, seem more appropriate for this breakfast meeting, but it just did not work as well. So, so come with me, we're bartenders at 8 a.m. Um, you're serving drinks to friends. Uh, your first friend orders a one ounce shot. That is Salinas um, or uh, Santa Margarita Lake. That's one ounce. Your second friend wants a shot, but you like this friend a little bit better. So you give a heavy pour, about an ounce and a half, just a generous shot. Uh, <laughs> that's Whale Rock. Lopez is a double. Your final friend orders a pint of beer. That's Nacimiento. That's how much more water is in that reservoir. And just for fun, Lake Tahoe, full on frat party, two kegs plus a pony keg of something better. <laughs> so what we do know is that one season of above average rainfall isn't going to completely erase the effects of several years of drought especially to our groundwater reserves, which rebound more slowly than our surface water reservoirs. Our staff will be conducting the spring groundwater well level measuring program in April, and that will be a telling metric 
as to how this winter storms have helped the groundwater recharge. And if you're a water nerd like, like I am, you will wanna follow this in the moment water data at our website, slowcountywater.org. There you can see in the moment key data such as reservoir levels, rainfall amounts, and the results of our groundwater well monitoring. And finally, I know it's raining. I know it makes us all feel better, but please continue to conserve water because we're not quite out of this yet.